Welcome back to Living Local. So it won't be long and parts of our area will soon see a unique situation when two massive kinds of cicadas emerge across the U.S. The dual explosion hasn't been seen for centuries and here to give us all the details on what we can expect is Lincoln Oliver, fish and wildlife biology, biologist I should say. Lincoln, thanks so much for being here. Welcome to the show. Yeah, thank you for having me. Okay, so first off, talk to us about what are cicadas and, and why are they so rare? Yeah, so cicadas are insects that emerge in massive numbers um, on 13 and 17 year cycles. So these are periodical cicadas and they are black and orange and with red eyes. And these are different than our annual cicadas that we get every year in late summer, which are typically green. Okay, okay. So yeah, there is a difference there, but why are they so important? Why are we talking about them? Yeah, so, so Periodical cicadas are important because insects form the base of the food chain. So they provide a lot of food for other animals. Oh. Um, so emerging in these huge numbers, periodical cicadas provide a lot of food resources for other critters. Everything from raccoons, wild turkeys, um, fish, songbirds, even other insects will eat periodical cicadas. Um, they, also, they also contribute to our local biodiversity. Um, and on top of that, um, this is a this is very rare in the insect world for insects to emerge in these kinds of numbers. This is the largest insect emergence in the entire world, and it just happens to occur here in the eastern U.S. Wow, that's amazing! That's yep. amazing. So there's two different kinds, uh, two different broods of cicadas. Talk to us about the the two different kinds and and what we'll see here in our area. Yeah. So. Um, Periodical cicadas emerge in predictable locations called broods, and there are two different species. One is, a, is on a 17-year cycle, and okay. one is on a 13-year cycle. Okay. But this year is special because we will have two, one 17-year and one 13-year, emerging adjacent to each other. Okay. They won't overlap, so we won't have like double densities of cicadas. Um, but they are expected to emerge here in our area this year. Okay. Um, as far as what we can expect, I have seen historic reports um, from the 17 year cicadas um, from here locally in Scott County Park uh -huh. and in the Muscatine area. Okay. Um, but I've also seen records from this year um, of this emergence happening here locally in our area in the Iowa City area, okay. Coralville Lake. Um, Peoria, um, Rockford, and in the Chicago area. So, and we'll see them on the ground, in trees, kind of everywhere, right? Yeah, so it's a little bit difficult to predict exactly where they'll be. In my experience in a cicada emergence, um, it's not totally consistent throughout the range that they're anticipated to be. It can be somewhat patchy, um, and their numbers can be variable depending on where you are. But if you are where they are at the right time, um, you'll definitely know it. <laughs> and they'll be they'll be singing loudly from the trees. Oh my gosh! And so there's a picture. It does. They don't even look real. It looks like something yeah. someone generated, right? So do you know how many we're expected to see? Yeah. Again, it's somewhat tough to say just because they can be so patchy. Okay. Um, but where they do occur, scientists have estimated they can number over a million per acre. Oh my goodness. Now the, a million? Yep. Now that is on the high side. I would say um, more so in the thousands to tens of thousands would be um, more Still. normal. Still, yep. that's a lot. That's a lot. And how long do they usually stick around? Yeah, so these, uh, these guys are at the end of their life cycle. They spent much of that time underground and they're coming up for a period of about four to six weeks to reproduce. Okay, all right. Now, do they, you, you said they're kind of no, noisy. Yep. Do they bite though? And are they harmful to our plants? Nope, they don't bite, they don't sting, they don't smell, they're not toxic, they're not poisonous. Um, periodical cicadas feed on liquid from woody plants. So mm -hmm. in very large numbers, they can cause some damage to the woody plants that they feed on, uh, but that's very rare. Okay. So if that does occur, you can take precautions by wrapping you know, vulnerable trees and shrubs in cheesecloth or some kind of fine netting material to protect them. But I would wait to see what emergence is going to be like in your area before taking those precautions. Okay, what about dogs? Because, I mean, is it harmful for dogs to eat them? 
Nope. Yeah, they. So it's not harmful, and that they are not toxic. Okay. Um, but I, I wouldn't allow our pets to eat large quantities of them <laughs> just because our pets aren't used to eating that yeah. much insect protein at one time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and you mentioned the noise, though. Is it constant? Yes. Yeah, it is constant. Night, day. During the day. Okay. Um, for a period of about two weeks. So yeah, the oh males emerge. <laughs> and they all fly into a tree and they sing together in what's called a chorus. So that can be very loud. To me, it kind of sounds like, um, you know, white, white noise from like a sound machine that some okay. people use to sleep. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it can be very loud if you're in the right place at the right time. That's amazing though. Yep. That's, that's crazy. And so when can we expect the next emergence? Yeah, so the next emergence here in the Quad Cities area won't be for another 17 years in 2041. Okay. Um, but the next dual emergence of the 13 year and the 17 year brood won't occur for more than 200 years. These are just, this is just fascinating to me. I just can't believe that this is happening. So cool to see this. And uh, thanks for coming in and, and educating us on cicadas today. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, for more information on the periodical cicadas, go to cicadas.ucon.edu. We'll also have all those details posted on our quadcities.com 